your mind should be like a light switch. The minute you hit the, the gym, you should turn off whatever's going on outside. I want to show the ring together more than I want to show the degree to put up or set up. It's either it's going to get done, or you never want to get a chance to do it again. You didn't improve, and I got a kid that's better than you, you know, it's because I have to, I have to be loyal to you. I don't have to be. We're not going to let you come in and drift. And, and if you can't, then we might ask you nicely, hey, go home today. I'll back tomorrow. So in the two regular season games were thrillers, and we can't wait to get started with this one. It's Lehman and Baruch in the CUNY Championship game next on Facebook Live. Lehman being presented with their regular season championship plaque. The top seeded Lehman Lightning, 21 and three. And a look at the Lehman Lightning for Coach Steve Schulman. Sean, this one feels like it's gonna go right down to the wire, but you know they wanna be raising a championship trophy at the end of this one. and charges. We brought the ball in the second half, and we didn't even get the shield. But that's a lot. We were on a roll when we were getting 13 or 14 turnovers in a game. We had 15 and one half, so we got to try to have to slice that the next couple of days. Um, a lot of our players, basketball is their first love. And I think that basketball is what everybody has in common. And that's why you see those relationships build because we're all kind of, we use the word grinding. We're all kind of grinding together. We think we would like life without it, but the minute we don't have it, there's something missing. 
You know, we kind of call leaving basketball the land of opportunity. We don't really care about your past or how many years you've been here or not here or where you're coming from. We give everybody a, an opportunity to shine. It's a competitive environment where the strongest survive. You're going to get a chance. It may not work out in your benefit, but you're not going to leave here and say, hey, I didn't get a chance to play. To me, you know, the guys get mad, but I'm not joking. I tell them that, like, basketball practice is the best class you'll have at Lehman College. The, the coaching staff but and our captains, we do a great job of teaching the guys accountability, teaching them leadership, responsibility. And at the end of the day, that's really what's going to make you successful in life, not something you learn at calculus. The guys we get are all in on basketball, and I think that's a, a unique thing. When I think of the players and everything, I just think of passion. I think of guys who love playing. They have their days where they may not want to be there, but deep down, you know, it's what they like. I think it really depends on the time of the season and the confidence level I have in the group. That game, the John Jay game, I was at high confidence, whereas I really believed in the team. I believed at that time that we were championship contenders and I knew they could take hard criticism. What I, One lesson I try to teach the guys is you got to find a way to win. So whenever you win a college game, you're excited. It doesn't matter if you bring in St. Mary's or the blind. It, if you get out of there with one more point than them, you have to celebrate that small victory because it's really difficult. But at that time of year, I was so confident in the guys that I knew they could hear the, the hard truth that we need to play better. If that game was earlier in the year, I would have had a different mindset. I would have been Patting everybody on the block, back saying, hey, we got a league win. We got a league win. But by that time of year, we, um, you know, we were rolling, and we wanted to make sure we were playing our best. Black squad all over, a lot of good candidates. Uh, but just, this guy's just filling up the stat sheet with everything. Man. Blocks, rebounds, points, assists. He's doing it all. So. <laughs> So the Black Squirrel Award is named after 2000, 2001 was my first year at Lehman. And my first captain, his name was Dennis Knipka. He was a great captain. He helped turn the whole, like, you know, people say, well, I turned it around. But I think Dennis was a big part of it because he totally bought into everything the coaching staff was doing. And we were a new staff. If you know the Lehman campus, there's black squirrels like legitimate well, all over the place. So Van Troy Chapman, who later became my assistant, jokingly used to call Dennis the black squirrel because he kind of looked like a squirrel. When Dennis left, we named this award after him. So it's basically a player who does something, not necessarily in the stats, contributes to winning. Could be taking a charge, diving for a loose ball, getting a bunch of rebounds. But something that an unsung hero is the black squirrel. Number one, when I got the program, I'm trying to build some tradition. That's why we also have the Minot Award, which is only up to the first game. It's the player of the week. So every week, whoever works the hardest and does the best in practice, we give the Minot Award. That's after Orlando Minot, who's another super cap, probably the best captain I've ever had. Orlando was amazing. Let them know about former players that were here. It's to promote that behavior. I think the guys do appreciate winning it. And we give it win or lose. If we lose a game, we still give out the black squirrel to that whoever we feel was that player who contributed that not necessarily was the star of the game. To the viewer's eyes, to the team, we knew that he made a difference. Good, good, good. Come on, keep it above your head. Keep it above your head. Good, good job. I think you're making a left. Most of them at the rim, you're making a left. Put the head down. It's the game for the box. That's it. Don't look at the ball. Look at the rim. Look at the rim. Should be fingertips. Fingertips. Good. Good. Don't even look at the ball. Look at the rim. Look at the rim. Look at the rim. Right Have confidence. Have confidence. Okay. Bad pass. Uh, a little information about me, Coach Terry. I've been with the program about 25 years. You know, they always say volunteer assistant, but you could just say assistant coach on the men's team. Been here with Steve. We got over 300 wins, so I was a part of that. You know, I help out with the player development, recruiting, also sometimes talking to the players. A lot of times they have either school issues or family issues or whatever. One thing I tell them is that I've been through it. College, school, grades, family, girlfriends. So a lot of times when they talk to me, I try to listen and kind of understand where they're coming from and try to be like that extra ear. I say this way, Gene and um, Al, I let them do the X and O's with Steve. I'm more the mentor. When they come out of games, I always have a seat empty next to me where if Steve speaks to them and stuff like that. And they come here, I tell them just to relax, focus in, so you're gonna be, have that same mistake and be back out sitting on the bench and anything like that. You know, Gene and Al are good 
assistant coaches, just like myself, it sometimes it's good to have like a little mentor on the team that they can go and talk to. I like that. And I know I contact. I like that. Would you play that? Oh, okay. okay. Now that Al and Gene are part of the coaching staff because they were full of players, I don't really have to do too much coaching because they got two good players who play for me. I can give them my playing experience, maybe a little different than the kids now of this generation, but also to getting them prepared so when they finish playing and they graduate and they get out in the real world, they know how to adjust to certain things because they're gonna be life challenges. Some of the things that, you know, you see in coaching is, okay, I'm not getting a lot of playing time. You know, I feel I should play more. What I used to say to some of the guys, I give them some of my experience. I tell them that just think of practice as a game, work hard. You know, the guy that you're going up against, that's the guy starting, don't let up. I basically am not a yeller or a screamer. I'm more of a talker. What I try to do is talk to them as men, young men. My name is Marquise Johnson, and I'm from Philadelphia. My favorite teammate, probably Will Feldman. To play with, Will Feldman. Like, but overall, I rock with the whole team. My favorite player is Derrick Rose. I'm a big Michael Jordan fan, but current player, Derrick Rose. My favorite team, Chicago Bulls. My favorite food, anything chicken related. Anything chicken related. My expectations for this year is to win a championship. That's the only goal. There's nothing, nothing else. Uh, what is my individual goals this year? To win a championship. I don't care about no stats, no analytics, just champion. I just want to be a champion. I want champion attached to my name. I just want to come for everything that we didn't get last year. And the only thing I feel like we didn't get was the championship. I feel like winning is everything. So this is my last year because I'm a senior. The only thing I want to leave with is champion attached to my name. Yeah, like straight? Yeah, like straight Tokyo, bro. Like, I don't even know how to say his name, but I just call him Tokyo. He's my name bigger than everybody else, because I'm the king, shit. So, yeah. Wow. Just me, me, Kasha. Living around. That ain't really, like, it's, it's a nice, it's, like, it's a nice little... Yeah, bro. This is like... Man, this is where I be at, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I had to make it comfortable, because, like, I spent so much time here, bro. Like, this is probably my favorite thing in the room, man. I can't see, bro. This is, like... The best in the room, man. Nah, I used to play Pac-Man all the time in the fucking in the barbershop when I was a kid. I used to work in the barbershop. I used to play all day. I could probably get up to like level 12 without dying. But yeah. That's not really a flex to me nowadays. Everybody play Call of Duty. I'm like trash in Call of Duty. You got the old Concordia jerseys too? Yeah, bro. I mean, Concordia always hold a, it'll always hold a place in my heart, I feel like. Get shut down. It's not like I transferred out. Yeah, you know, I probably would have never left if it wasn't for that. It's like half of my kick. Well, 
I got fourth on my kicks. I got a lot. I got a lot of shoes, bro. I got a lot of. I got a lot of shoes. You know what I'm saying? Like we yeah. both home watching somebody else. You know, take the medal off. And it was hurtful, but it hurt more knowing like that we did all this. Bro. Like niggas around on the track, be in the park playing pickup. Like yeah. before we can get in the gym, guys is meeting up. Pick up, we running upstairs, all the time, going to museum or like working out at museums, bro. Like, come on, bro. That was working out at museums, bro. Yes, bro. All that just to like lose the chip, like, and it's not like like if you look at like on paper we had the the best team, bro. Like, yeah. I'm talking about we had the player of the year, the leading scorer in the conference, we had Mo probably the, if not first or second best two way player in the conference. You got Will, hands down to me is the best point guard that I've ever played with. And then you got Lennox, who's just like, for some reason, he's he's like, he's our perfect glue guy, where he take charges, he block shots, he gonna make layups when he need it, he always make the good pass. Then you got Juan coming off the bench, come on, bro, sniper, then you got myself, you know, uh, I just, whatever we need, I'm gonna do it, you know what I'm saying, we got myself, whatever we need, I'm gonna do it. Again, we have a supporting cast, a group of guys coming off the bench, like, other than myself, I got, like, the guys, every so often, we'd probably have, like, a Haji or a Jalen or a Brandon, they'd come in, and they'd play hard, like, whatever, Guys was given, bro. Like they, they got a plate. No matter how big the plate was, they enjoyed the plate, bro. Nobody asked for more. Nobody cared if they got anything less. So like mm -hmm. last year was like a fairy tale season, bro. We didn't even have a gym. Like you remember that? So we didn't even have a gym, bro. So yeah, it's true. playing like eight, nine games on a row before you get your own like home game, bro. Like that take a lot, bro. Like that's if that's not adversity, bro. Then I don't know what it is, bro. I really wish we won for Gian. Like I ain't gonna lie, like I think. Like he deserved it more than anybody. And like he's gonna play it here, bro. Got like two triple doubles in the season. In college, I he the only person I know that's got a triple double in college, like personally. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm gonna do that, bro. I mean, he's playing pro now, so I guess it's a win for him, but more, for everybody, for me too, but for everybody, I think we would all want to win a chip this year. Yeah. Five or six out of our rotation guys are seniors. So it's like put up or set up. Like, is he was gonna get done? Well, you never gonna get a chance to do it again. I love Lasana. I love Kai. I love Juan. I love C's, All of them, but like, it's like it's, it's something special about when you hooping with your class. You know what I'm saying? Like that guys that you know got the same clock as you. You know what I'm saying? And it runs out at the same time. It's just it's a different type of urgency. And um, Coach Showman, she called he called it senior urgency. We all graduating. Like we all gonna walk across that stage together. Bro, that's rare at Lehman, bro. Like, I think with the average amount of time to graduate is like 11 years. You know, it's more or less a commuter school. So typically, guys got full-time jobs, part-time jobs, only taking two, three classes a semester. Wow. But the fact that all of us walk across the stage at the same time, to me, is like, there's no better way. There's no better way. In my head, I just picture when we all get our degrees, like, I want to show the ring together more than I want to show the degree. It's just, I don't know, it's kind of, it's just an extra special feeling when you that's with a bunch fun. of guys that you... That you know you you rock with. Yo, bro. Yo, bro. Yo, bro. You on you on speaker, bro? I'm doing like a day in the life. I mean, yeah, it's a video. It's a video. It's a video. It's, it's gonna be on like a um like a mini movie thing. The day in the life, bro. Oh, I can't say that. I was about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> what you? Alright, guys. I'm gonna show this over. Alright, man. Alright. Bro, this it here. That was the first tournament. Like I really went off. Man. Actually, my first time playing in Elmwood too. My first time playing in Elmwood. This like that was. This is the start, first summer I've ever played like summer basketball. Like, I didn't play AAU or anything growing up. So mm -hmm. my first time hooping outside of school. That's a whole different environment, bro. Like guys, like you gonna hear the crowd. You are gonna feel the crowd, bro. Yeah. You guys have like a Lehman, right? Like a Lehman. A Lehman team. Yeah, yeah. I only I only got to play one game in the Lehman game. I dropped thirty. <laughs> I dropped 30. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I dropped 30. Personally, if you ask, I think I'm the best one-on-one -on -one player we got. You can, you, can ask, you can ask Zay what happened last time we played one-on-one. -on -one. You can ask him. We got real, every time, every time we in practice and we play ones, hey man, I come out with the duck every single time. Man, I got that bag like I do. Let me see, let me show you. That bro. Philly bag? Bro, mm, Philly cheese, bro. I'm trying to tell everybody. It's a different type of world. What's better, a Philly cheesesteak or a chopped cheese? Philly cheesesteak. Philly cheesesteak, bro. Hands down, bro. Like that. Whenever I go home, first thing I grab cheesesteak with some cheese fries and a hoagie. On a hoagie? Yeah, gotta grab a hoagie. Gotta grab a wawa. Hella ramen, bro. It's like that's like the key to it. And it's not. I can cook. That's the crazy part. Like, I can cook really, really good. I just can't afford food. Nah, can't afford food. groceries. 
bro. My stomach growling, I'm dehydrated. I just spent half my time at the fuck at the fucking water fountain just trying to fill up on water. Yeah, get a bunch of bread, oat milk. The guy always looking out. The guy always looking out, Jalen always looking out. Like Jalen family. Like they like a second family up here, so they always make sure I'm good. They always make sure I'm good. I always make sure I got something. How old is your age? Seven. Wow. Seven, bro. Seven. Bro. So like, I ain't gonna like having a kid young. Like at the time, it makes you want to give up on everything. Like, like it makes you want to give up on life. You know, the hoop dream things over. Like how oh, I might want to hoop this. Time. We talk every day. I will call it now while you're here, but. She has to she has to yeah, she don't got a phone. <laughs> Makes you care about more than just yourself. Now everything I do is with the intent to like make my daughter's life better. And with the team that we got, knowing that they always gonna look out, like good, bad, or ugly, like there's been a countless amount of times that I've missed shots, that I've uh, uh, made mistakes, I've committed like dumb fouls. So I just made mistakes in the court in general, whether it's in practice or a real life game. And like they just, they're so forgiving, they're so like, you know what I'm saying? So, so real. That's the best part about our team. Nobody really suffers, but everybody. Because it's, it's, it's a real family. Like we, you know, we chant family on three, and everybody say it. I'm confident that like, they all mean it. And we do everything. Like, we do everything together. Guys walk together, check each other's cribs. You know, if, if somebody sees I'm having an off day, I, I don't have to say a word sometimes. If guys will see I'm having an off day, they will shoot me a text or. Call me and you know, just to remind me, hey, I got you. I don't mind. Why are you going to hurt me, bro? Every time I play hard, everybody want to hurt. Dude, I, I was trying to find B because I was like, yo, when bro be hurt, bro. <laughs> he was like this. I think he was making it back with me. I think I got kicked in the face. <laughs> bro, I'm sorry, bro. Like, why do you think I did like that? I'm like, I'm watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch the next practice. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> like, yo, I told the dog. to basketball it's never personal you know I, they have a job so we have a job our job is to try to improve every year it's the only way we keep our job so we have to go and recruit and we recruit your job is to improve from where you were at last season to where you should be next year so that you can show us that we can play because it's all competition so if you didn't improve and i got a kid that's better than you you know who works just as hard just because you know i have to i have to be loyal to you I don't have to be. And it's not personal, like I don't like you. It's not that I don't like you as a person. It's just, you know, my job is to try to improve and this kid is better than you. And you had a year of knowing what we expect and you decided to take it upon yourself not to improve. It's not really our fault at that point. Uh, G. Marcial, sister coach, Lehman College. I've been here, I've been coaching for five years now, including COVID. This will be my sixth. I played from 2016 to 2018. So I was a, Transfer, I played at a junior college. Team captain over there, I was all second team all conference. Then I kind of took some time off, but then I transferred in here because I had people on the team who I already knew. But I didn't play right away. So I, you know, rode the bench for a bit. And then middle of the year, I just kept fighting through and ended up earning my spot.
three-point line. You two guys are gonna crisscross you into a fucking box. Not to the three-point line, Zay. To a fucking box. Come get the ball up here. Get it. Clear everybody out. Let's run down there. Kentucky. Handle. One four flat. Game is over. Can we do that? Not that hard. Don't be afraid of having a ball in your head. You're playing. If you're gonna come watch our practice, you can't be sensitive because there's gonna things that's gonna be said. You shouldn't be said sometimes, but it's never personal. That's one thing that I do appreciate our guys because they never take it personal. They know that we have their best interests at heart. But sometimes somebody needs to get a you know a push. Hey, you need to work harder. And sometimes patting somebody on the back and say, hey, maybe you should run a little faster. That don't work. Things are being said. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. So it gets a little crazy. But our practices are intense. It's competing. You know, everybody wants something. You know, whether minutes more shot xyz you, you name it but that's why we push like hey don't make it comfortable for somebody else because when we go to the game that opponent isn't making it comfortable for you you know what i'm saying so you just try to prepare as much as you can experience like a lot of the things that they experience on the court I experience as a player sometimes it's all about what would I do in that situation kind of relay it you could tell them you could teach them but it's up it's up to them to go out there and do it in practice I think practice should always be competitive because we're in there for two hours sometimes two and some change what are we doing in two hours if you don't want to come here and work for two hours then stay home because we all privileged to have this opportunity not everybody plays not everybody is on a bas college basketball team like that so it's frustrating when they come in and they don't want to work I understand life happens and you might come in and you might be having a bad day whatever the case may be like I have a job I have a family I get that but when I come in I'm in here to try to do my best to help you improve There's there's times where we don't have that where there's a lot of like looks like there's people almost fighting in there that's just to try to get that competitive i think if you always compete you always have a chance to win regardless of what's going on i think that's the most that we try still you know players especially during practice even if it's like small drill sometimes it could get boring it happens with me a lot we work on something a day two days before a game and somebody does it in the game Everybody on the bench is excited. I'm not teaching you no, you know, no BS. Like things that you're gonna do in a game, it ends up happening. You know, this is why you kind of need to lock in during those times. So for the most part, they do. Sometimes it's annoying because they don't, but and that's what we just get on.
mindset, but it's going to be physical and then you have to really exert yourself. Full exertion. That's the kind of you want to get out of here with a W on Wednesday. It's a full exertion game. We're playing against women. We're playing against men. We're not playing against boys. We're not playing against a team that we can throw it away 25 times. I, I know I've been here. I know you guys laugh, but I've been here a long time. Okay? I'm 62 years old. I enjoy the game. I could be doing something better. Okay? But I'm here because of this man behind me. You know, I know sometimes we have a little disagreement. But I'm, I'm, if we was in a foxhole, we'd be there, Al, and also Gene. You guys have a wonderful opportunity working together. Now, the one thing that I like about Steve when I stay here is the culture. Another thing you guys have, you're lucky, you have Al and you have Gene. Two championship players and championship teams. Okay? I like this guy because when he says something, I know every one of you look at him, okay? And you respond. You don't have, you shouldn't have to wait for him to tell you what to do. Your college players. So the last thing I'm gonna say, this is a culture we're building here at Lima College. I always say like Duke, North Carolina, or whatever. I went to Bill Nova's game, I went to their practice, I watched their practice. What this man behind me has done in practice, they do. I went to a pro game this camp. I mean some uh, practice. The same thing you guys think they do here, they do in the practice too as well. So learn, listen, embrace it, and be ready. This is a game that I circled ever since beginning of the season 18 because we lost them last year. And I don't mean to put this man on the spot, but I saw the frustration towards John Jack. And my fiance said to me, what's up? You know, because she's seen him before. But I was in the van with him. And I don't mean to put him on the spot. I was in the van when we lost the championship. And he was literally crying because he wanted the game. What I'm saying is, I love this team. I love the new addition. Okay? Let's win it for this guy behind me. Because he was in the van with me that night, and I heard every single thing. Hey, for yourself. Okay. All right. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 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 I wanted our program to be like Baruch. It has become like a little bit of a hatred now over the top.